every single crisis in the world, over time immemorial, people are at the center of that crisis. And people get together to either bring that crisis to an end, to get through the crisis, or to prevent the crisis. Be it armed conflict or disaster recovery or whatnot, we have several roles. I think the most visible role is our international and national volunteers themselves. We support the United Nations to, to do the work they're doing. If you just take peacekeeping, peacekeeping right now is happening in about 32 countries around the world. It covers a population of nearly a billion people. And our role there is a very, very large role. It's not just with the UN peacekeeping department. We work with UNDP and all the UN agencies. Right now, uh, I just got back from South Sudan. Here you have the world's newest nation. They've been fighting for decades for this independence. The thirst and the energy you see down there of the average South Sudanese walking down the streets is, is amazing, it's infectious. And you want to support it. We're placing UN volunteers in the district and local offices to work in everything from human resources and office management to uh, setting up the Human Rights Commission and the Revenue and the Treasury Departments and things like that. So specialists across the board in those areas. On the peacekeeping side, we're doing some of that, working in rule of law, working in human rights, working in civil affairs, uh, working in protection. But there's a whole new element of peace building, which basically means the peacekeepers, the uniformed personnel, are maintaining the peace and then we are uh, sending out teams of uh, volunteers and other staff who are working with the local um, governance structure to allow them to put in the basic infrastructure that you need for society to, to build on. And, and in that process, you're building confidence, you're connecting people, and people begin to see and feel that, yeah, we can make it. We've learned a lot over the past 20. I mean, peacekeeping 20 years ago when UNV started in Cambodia is very different than peacekeeping today. First of all, missions are lasting a heck of a lot longer. Therefore, our people are on the ground a lot longer. Uh, people have learned over the years uh, that capacity building is just essential in these things. And that's one reason it la it last, it's lasting longer. It takes a long time to build capacity. And this is where UNV is, is, is central. If you look at Cote d'Ivoire over the past uh, year, the elections uh, going bad and the strife and then the stalemate, and terrible, terrible things were happening. Now our role in that was we had a very large group of volunteers and still do supporting the electoral process. That was a role they played, but then post-election when the crisis happened, the ball game changed. And we did a number of very interesting things. One was we helped with the, the mission to set up a human rights call, call line. And we had about 25 volunteers working on this around the clock, taking in calls. And I understood that they took up to 4,000 calls from the public, which was announced over UN radio that people could do that, uh, to people to voice the atrocities which were happening, the abuses which were happening, uh, seeking help, uh, and as far as possible, the volunteers together with the mission resources and the police and the UN uh, uniform personnel uh, were addressing these as best they could. We also had medical services which were extended beyond the, the, the mission mandate uh, because it was a, a terrible time and hospitals and clinics and whatnot were, were not functioning. And we even brought volunteers in very short notice from nearby countries where, who could be released, for instance from the peacekeeping mission in Liberia, a few of them flew over to support that. But again, it was done in a sense of, okay, I can't do my normal job right now because uh, of the crisis going on. What else can I do? People who join UN volunteers to go work in a place like South Sudan, they do it because they really want to make a contribution. 